Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for the last day of April. Wow, April 30th, Tuesday. I'm James Spann. Got a complicated weather pattern developing later this week and a lot of questions and a lot of uncertainty involving the weekend situation here, but we'll do the best we can to uh, talk our way through it. Let's start with some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. These were captured at 4.30 a.m. Come on, who'd be awake that hour? That's the uh, Gadsden Skycam. A little fog over the city. Not quite as bad as yesterday. That's our Huntsville Sky Cam. Again, some fog evident there up in the Rocket City. And way down south, no fog on the Gulf Coast. That's our Gulf Shore Sky Cam at the Phoenix All Suites overlooking the public beach. Well, there's the deal. Got that big cold upper trough developing over the northwest United States. A strong cold front is coming out of that. And uh, ultimately, that will evolve into a deep upper low that will be setting up north and west of the state. And exactly how that happens and how long it sticks around and where it goes, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the possibilities here. Starting off the day with mostly 50s, although we note that Fort Payne, Haleyville, and Cullman are in the upper 40s. Uh, Birmingham at 56. We'll expect low 80s today, uh, a warmer day today. A dense fog advisory early this morning, basically from about uh, Clanton and Alexander City, south through Montgomery and Troy and Dothan. Uh, but other than that, things are pretty quiet. Severe weather possibilities later today. A slight risk along a surface boundary from near Omaha to Green Bay. And then tomorrow, a slight risk of severe weather over parts of Texas. Day three, which is Thursday, no severe weather expected. Although thunderstorms are possible all the way from the Gulf Coast up into uh, Michigan. But they should not be severe, at least on an organized basis. And this is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Uh, the bullseye five inches over uh, Iowa. And we wonder if some of that might be in the form of snow. It's an interesting possibility for May. And uh, down here, the amounts vary from about one and a half inches near the Mississippi border to less than one half inch near the Georgia border. And the bigger numbers on the Gulf Coast are centered around Slidell, Louisiana. That's about, what, 4.6 inches down there. But let's get in there and uh, let's take a look at this, see if we can figure out what's happening. This is the uh, GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. You can see uh, some energy over the western Gulf Coast, but the uh, big action is way up north over the northwest United States. And down below that, we think today will be pretty much warm and dry. There could be a few showers over the southern half of the state. There's a surface low around New Orleans and, uh, you know, Mobile, Dothan, Greenville, Evergreen, Monroeville, they might see a shower today. And up here, I guess you can't say there's no chance of rain, but the chance of rain is so small, we're not going to mention it for now. Uh, and we should reach the low 80s today with a partly sunny sky. Up north, very deep surface low north of Minnesota, 987 millibars with a very strong cold front and very cold air for uh, the last day of April coming down the pike. Uh, tomorrow, the moisture axis in Alabama is, is still deepest over the southern half of the state, but I think no doubt we'll need to mention at least the chance of an afternoon shower or storm here. And uh, probably we'll see an increase in clouds, the high closer to 80. Our strong cold front making very slow progress up north. Thursday, same deal. We've got a moist air mass, but no big trigger for rain. So we'll mention a chance of scattered showers and storms Thursday. The best chance during the afternoon and evening. And uh, the high probably in the 70s. The GFS drops us down to 73. Kind of depends on the cloud cover. All right, now Friday, here's the deal. It's a, it's a Rex block. Uh, you've got an upper low over the Atlantic, upper low that's over Oklahoma. And blocks, you know, that's the deal. It's kind of like a traffic jam in the upper air. Things tend to kind of stay that way for a while. Uh, down below that, uh, Friday, again, you know, the air's moist. We'll definitely have the chance of showers. The most organized heavy rain probably a little west of here with that cold front that is just creeping in our direction. 
Uh, there's a surface low under the upper low that's over Missouri. Uh, but not an all-day kind of rain. And again, this is race weekend at Talladega, so a lot of uh, NASCAR fans are watching this. So qualifying on Friday, uh, there could be some delays involved, but again, that's not a washout kind of thing. And then the good news, with the most organized rain off to the west, the, the showers will be fewer in numbers you go farther east. All right, fans of the weekend, this is Saturday. Uh, the upper low is near uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas uh, on the GFS. But the European has it up there in uh, Minnesota. So there's a great model discrepancy in the location of this thing, and that will have a great impact on our weather. If you take the GFS on face value, uh, we would have a good axis of moisture here Saturday, and that would mean periods of rain. We get into the cooler air, highs drop into the 60s. In fact, the GFS is printing a high of only 65 for Birmingham. And I'm telling you, some parts of northwest Alabama might not get out of the 50s if this is right. But if by chance the European solution is right, it wouldn't be that cool. Highs would be in the, the 70s, and we'd have some showers around, but not as much rain. But for now, we'll kind of ride with the GFS and forecast a cloudy day Saturday with a few periods of rain and a high in the 60s. Now, Sunday, the uh, GFS has the upper low over Missouri. Down below that, a dry slot tries to work into West Alabama. And you know the old saying, cold core, upper low, weatherman's woe. We say that all the time because they're hard to deal with. But if this is correct, uh, the greatest chance of rain on Sunday would be over the eastern half of the state. It uh, doesn't bode well for, for the race. But again, I, I think they'll get the races in at Talladega this weekend. But they're a uh, rain delay, a very real possibility. But this is suggesting there could be some sun for the western half of the state with a dry slot. But where the sun breaks out, that cold air loft makes the air unstable and there could be scattered showers later in the day. Uh, Monday, the, surf, the uh, big upper low is just sitting there. It's just not moving much. It's just below St. Louis. And that's what a Rex block is. These, th these things can stay there for days and in some cases weeks. You know, who knows? That thing might be there for a while. And uh, down below that, again, with the proximity of the upper low, we'll have the chance of showers on Monday of next week. Highs probably in the 70s. We're not directly under the cold core part of that thing, so maybe we'll reach the low 70s Sunday and, and mid-70s on Monday. But clearly, some risk of showers beginning tomorrow, every day through early next week. And then Tuesday, the GFS moves that thing right over uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. And again, if that's right, uh, Tuesday would be kind of cool and cloudy-ish and a chance of showers. But just to show you the model discrepancy, this is the uh, uh, European next Tuesday. I mean, you can barely see it. It's got the upper low over Hudson Bay in Canada. I mean, it's, it's just basically off the, the chart there where the, the GFS has it near Chattanooga, Tennessee. So just a big discrepancy in a complicated pattern, and we'll just have to watch it and fine-tune the forecast. Just be aware there inevitably will be some forecast changes as we get closer to the weekend. Here's the end of the forecast, May 15th. That would be dry and warm, if that happens to be correct. And the good news, no sign of any severe weather problems here for the next couple of weeks, and that's a, a good thing. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The uh, next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon, and if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream of the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show, available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app, and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.